Hello everyone, this is Steve Rich with Automation DND. When I left off with you last, we had just got some iOS V routers running in GNS3. And that's really, really cool, but we can even sweeten the deal more. We need to do is go to Arista website, register with them, log in, and download some virtual switches. It's free, so you should do it. I love how they're giving this stuff away. Go up to support, software download, look for this little link to VEOS. Expand this and look at the files you've got. The SWI files go into non-volatile RAM. I haven't used those yet. I've just used the VMDK virtual hard disk uh, files and the boot files, the ISO images. 2.08 matches up with like 4.142F and 2.10 matches up with 4.145F. Download some sets of these, back them up, keep them handy. In case you lose them, delete them, get file corruption, whatever. But what we're going to do is we're going to use VirtualBox to run the virtual machine from and we're linking that to GNS3. GNS3 integrates really really well with VirtualBox and you'll see what, what I mean. You click on new and name your virtual machine Arista01. I'm going to have more than one that's why I'm doing that. Choose Linux as the operating system and Fedora 64-bit Next, increase the memory to 1024, 1 gig. It's the minimum that the machine will run on. Do not add a virtual hard drive. We'll add one later. It's complaining there's no hard drive. That's okay. Now we've got to modify the settings. We don't need the floppy drive. In storage, I'm getting rid of everything and I'm going to add new stuff. Audio, we don't need audio. Networking, we don't need that either. GNS3 will handle that. Watch this. When I go to check this off, in my case, it says it's invalid when I try to deselect USB. This is why. Under system and pointing device, it's forcing a USB tablet into connection to the system. Now I can get rid of it without it being invalid. But the most important part is storage, so you need to add an IDE controller and to that we'll hang a hard drive off it. Choose an existing hard drive and browse to where you've got your Arista switch images located. Now I'm going to add a CD, the A boot, choose a disk, say OK. I believe that's it. Now it has this mini console built in here. Later on in GNS3 when we're configuring, there's something called headless mode where we'll get rid of the Linux console. Right here, right now, running it in VirtualBox. When this is done booting up, this will be the console by which we configure the switch. But GNS3 will supply us with a console. And so we'll configure for headless mode. Now the boot up of Arist is kind of slow so I'll probably cut away in a bit to spare you. The EOS initialization stage is one of the uh, slowest ones. Right here if you pressed escape it would throw you into a Linux console but if you leave it alone. 
When it's done booting, you get a login prompt to the switch. Okay, and then the login screen. Type in the ID admin and no password. When the screen, uh, the virtual box screen captures your keyboard and mouse, in order to get out of it, you press the right control key. You'll find that if you play around with this, it's very much like um, Cisco IOS. It's not identical, but it's close enough that if you know Cisco, you can work with Arista. That's the main thing. Okay, so now that we've established that the virtual machine works, we can power it off and we'll just clone it and rename it Arista02 reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards next want a full clone and clone And that's it. Now we've got our two machines. Now we start GNS3. Cancel. Go up to Edit, Preferences. Now remember QEMU, we just put the VIOS in. We're going up to virtual box. One of the important steps that you've got to do when you're first installing GNS3, you've got to browse to where VBox Manager is. So you go to the C drive under program files, down to Oracle virtual box and you're looking for VBox Manager. VBox Manage. And that goes in here. <clears throat> VBox Manage goes in there. Server settings we don't mess with. Advanced settings we don't mess with. <clears throat> virtual box VMs click on new <clears throat> and what it does is it immediately goes and finds the virtual machines that you've set up that are compatible here for GNS3 so select Arista 1 and go, go into edit enable remote console start VM in headless mode Network, how many adapters do you want? I want eight adapters. So I'm adding eight. Click on OK. Apply. Get another new machine. Why look at that? Arista 2 is next. And there's nothing else after that. Like, likewise, if I had just made an Arista 3, that'd be there too go into Arista 2 and edit enable remote console start headless apply OK and if we go down to all devices we've got Arista 1 and 2 actually that up here, that down here, and I'll pair it up with a couple of other common routers, 7200 and 7200. Okay, so I've got my task manager up here running, we can keep an eye on that, but let's start up these machines. Start.
open a console <clears throat> and you can see the mini console here is actually uh, reflecting what the big console would be but it's in headless mode so this is all you see like I said this console will only show um, switch output I'm going to start switch number two and open the console. Notice in the title bar it's numbered by the virtual machine. When they both come up they'll both just be a generic name and you've got to rename the host as is typical with any switch or router. But now we've got to wait once again for the very long boot up of the Arista switches. So I'll be right back. Okay, these are our beautiful, magnificent Arista switches ready to log in. And what I'll do is start um, the other two routers while I'm configuring these. Okay, everybody, what I did was um, I configured the network like this. I'm going from um, port z gig 00 on router 1 over to port 1 on Arista 1, and from gig 00 to port 1 on Arista 2. And in between the two Arista switches is a trunk running from port 2 to port 2 on both. So it's from gig 0 to ether port 1 gig 0 to ether port 1 and the trunk is 2 to 2 and what I did was I set up a repetitive ping from this router to this router the IP address of this is 192.168.247.10 and this one is 192.168.247.20 and so I set up a repetitive ping nonstop. As you see here, it's just pinging, 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 and sometimes it does drop a ping, but it's essentially co connected quite well. But if you come over here to one of the Arista switches, and if I remove this connection by trunk, you see over here on route router 2 the ping stops dead and what I'm going to do right now is re-enable the trunk connection and the connection resumes so that's that we have our Arista switches and um, I'm going to be very happy to work with those in the future and we can throw some iOS V in the mix. Talk to you later.